Now, as we <coughs> as we saw some solution, the reactants and products in equilibrium, so can ions also be in equilibrium. Okay, so so if you if you prepare a, a, a sugar solution, sugar solution, it will it is non-conducting. It is non-conducting in nature. Okay, it is non-conducting. <clears throat> that means if you put on the electrodes, you will not find any electricity passing. Fine. So, so what happens if if you have a beaker filled with filled with sugar solution? Okay, and and you have have an electrode here okay an electrode here and an electrode here and you connect a battery across them okay then what happens what happens you will not find any electricity passing as indicated by an ammeter here <coughs> it will remain at zero even though uh, because uh, if you put something then starts conducting galvanometer will burn right <coughs> okay so so there is no 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 current flow okay now if you add some some sh salt into it this is sugar solution right if you add some if you add some salt into it okay so if you add some some salt into it then it starts conducting okay when salt added to it, it becomes conducting. Okay. <clears throat> now, if it became conducting, it means there was movement of some charge because current is movement of charge. Fine. So, current <clears throat> is is movement of charges. Yeah, these, these, are, these are some electrodes, maybe copper electrodes or something, right? Now what happens is, is <clears throat> there is, there is, there is current, so some charges are moving. Now what kind of charges? Okay, are they electrons? Are they electrons? The answer could be yes or no, but try to think. There are electrons in water molecules as well. So if it had to move, why did it not start moving? in water and what what happened when when we put salt into it right so so we have seen that nacl is an ionic compound okay by the donation of one electron by na and by the acceptance of one electron by cl they become na plus and cl minus and then they get attracted together and form this 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 compound <coughs> now now if this is nacl the moment you pour it into water, <clears throat> the dielectric strength of the dielectric constant of water is, is about 80. <clears throat> okay? So immediately the forces <coughs> of attraction in water, what happens? The forces of attraction, the force of attraction of the ions. <clears throat> force of attraction of ions reduces 80 times okay on top of that water itself is a polar molecule so what it does is it is able to pull the ions on its own due to its own dipole moment due to this NaCl dissolves in water but in what capacity it is seen that when NaCl dissolves in water it gives you Na plus, so NaCl aqueous, it gives you Na plus plus aqueous and plus Cl minus aqueous. What do we mean by aqueous? That means Na plus molecule is, is, is hydrated. How is it hydrated? Because the water molecules surround it. Fine? 
So this <coughs> Na plus and Cl minus into which it is split and so so the moment you you put it here you have these Cl minuses the, the Cl minuses and Cl minuses okay and you have <coughs> the corresponding Na pluses Na plus Na plus they keep on floating in form of ions now the moment you switch it on what happens the positives they start moving towards the the cathode while the negatives they start moving towards the anode and that is that is why they are known as anions and cations right so 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 the reason behind this is nacl is 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 split into two and and such solutions or, or such solutes which change into ions <clears throat> in solution form are called called electrolytes called <coughs> electrolytes <coughs> okay those which not those which do not convert into ions are called non electrolytes they are called non electrolytes right <clears throat> they are called non electrolytes fine and at a given point of time for a given given concentration this is in in an <coughs> equilibrium and, and this equilibrium is a dynamic equilibrium so we show it by two half arrows that means some of the na pluses and cl minuses they come together under the electrostatic force of attraction and they form nacl back while some nacls due to the brownian motion of the particles of the liquid plus the polar nature of the molecules of the liquid okay plus the reduction in the force due to the high dielectric strength of the water they keep on dissociating into these two understand so the so the sugar molecule that will be called a non electrolyte fine now the mineral acids if you if you talk about the mineral acids then they dissociate to a large extent okay they dissociate to a large extent in in water in water molecule in 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 water as solvent right and we'll soon see the next topic that 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 is how we de decide what an acid is okay what is an acid this hcl actually gives you H plus plus Cl minus it is this capacity to provide the proton right this is a proton is it not hydrogen atom has got only a proton and no neutron in its nucleus mm -hmm. and one electron if you have withdrawn that electron then H plus is nothing but a proton mm -hmm. do we get that H plus is a proton. So the capacity to provide a proton is what decides is, 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 is what decides how strong an acid is. Okay. In fact, after this you'll understand that this H plus does not remain like this. It actually reacts with O O O H 2 O. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. H 2 O and gives you H3O plus which is known as 
hydronium ion right hydronium ion or oxonium ion okay it is called both okay so so it does not exist independently rather it it immediately forms a hydronium ion fine in contrast if you have got ch3 c double o h this this dissociates to a lesser extent to a lesser extent in 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 liquid and that is why this is a weak acid okay weak acid it's dissociation dissociation is yeah Yeah, organic acids are weaker acids, very very weak. Okay, but but pretty strong compared to many other acids, right? So dissociation is very small. Here it is a very very strong acid, strong acid because because of because the dissociation is very high, right? Dissociation is very very high. So so if for this reaction you have got a very high kc it tells you it's a very strong acid okay okay and that will be one of the applications of this the the equilibrium constant okay <coughs> fine